This is the composite model we're talking about. Everything that you need to functionally use it is going to be inside. So when you take off your caps, inside you're going to find your skin, you're going to find your flesh pad, your tissue pad, this is actually your static vein and rolling vein together, your syringe with your stopcock, and this is for your wet stick. This is the red vein. The way you put it together is you slide the red vein over, the blue vein is your rolling and your static vein, and that simply clicks through and locks in place like this. You're going to take the cap, secure the cap to this end, that kind of helps keep the vein in place. The flesh pad goes up underneath. The tissue pad goes over the flesh pad. And that holds it all in place. Once you get those in place, your skin goes over the top. The composite models have these built-in legs. They're actually where you hook into the skin, and that's how the skin attaches. It has a dual purpose. Once the skin is in place, now you're ready to actually use the mitts. If you have the blood solution, you're gonna go ahead and draw the blood solution into your syringe, and you hook the syringe into the wet stick tubing. And you're ready to go. Let's talk about the needle decompression for tension pneumothorax. When we designed this model, we put in a needle decompression port. This is going to allow for the needle decompression for tension pneumothorax when you're practicing on treating a collapsed lung. On our model, we actually put a small little triangle that's going to show you exactly where that little notch is, but notionally it's between the second and third rib. In this case, it's going to be in between the two blue veins. Put the mitts flat on the ground. The IV trainer is now ready for our, your needle decompression. 14 gauge needle, that's your standard NDC needle. You remove the plastic safety covering. You check the catheter for any burrs. 90 degrees straight down in between the second and third rib. As you push it all the way down, sharps, the needle goes inside so no one gets stuck. And then you tape it down. You've just successfully completed a needle decompression for tension pneumothorax on the IV trainer. Let me explain the driving. You have two approaches to it, either a rolling vein or a static vein. But with anything that you do as far as giving IV, you know you're going to have your PPE on your gloves and you're going to prep the area. So just like you would be doing on a regular stick, you can actually use alcohol on our skin, and you're gonna take the area in which you're gonna be giving the IV, and you're gonna clean the area. Once you've got the area clean, you're going to prep the needle. This is a standard catheterized needle. Bevel up, use a C method. That's where you take your index finger, to press down on the vein to occlude the blood flow, and you're going to use your thumb as a guide. Once you locate your vein, you're going to use bevel up. Push down into your vein at a 45 degree angle. Once it's penetrated, you're actually going to get a, uh, a flashback into the chamber. But this being dry, we're not going to see that. We're going to advance it a quarter of an inch. With your thumb, you're going to be advancing that catheter. Once that catheter is all the way down to the skin, you're going to take the needle out. And this is where the needle actually can go inside the IV trainer. Using the same technique, we're actually going to practice on the rolling vein now. The rolling vein is looser. It's actually going to move to the left and to the right. And so you're really going to have to push down with your index finger to hold it in place. Once you get your index finger in place, you're going to use the same C method. You're going to be using the beveled up. Once you get it into the vein, you're going to lower it down, advance it a quarter of an inch, and then slide the catheter in by holding the needle straight. As you pull the needle out, sharp, it's going to go inside 
the mitts so you're not going to get stuck. And then you can go ahead and you can attach whatever lines that you need to attach. One of the other aspects to the IV trainer is you can actually do a saline lock trainer. We recommend that you do this on the static vein. Same method, C method, you're going to bevel up, push the needle in to the vein, you'll feel it, drop it down, advance it a quarter of an inch, and slide your catheter in, sharps, goes inside of the IV trainer so you're not going to get stuck. We have a saline lock. Saline lock simply slides in and locks onto the back of the catheter, and then you would tape it down.